I'm Stephen Wilson, your Pampered Chef Consultant. Thank you for joining Tina's Party. We're about to make a delicious recipe using the brownie pan set and the ice cream maker. So let's get started. Well, hey guys, I'm going to be showcasing some Pampered Chef products, some of the classic products and some of the new items that Pampered Chef has out using two Pampered Chef recipes. I'm going to be making today naughty brownies with a frozen custard. You heard that right. Naughty brownies and a frozen custard dessert. It's going to be great. So I'm just going to begin with the classic batter bowl. This is like just as it says classic, but I love the classic batter bowl. As you can see, it has the measurements right there on there. So you can see when you pour things in there and it has a lid so that you can uh, seal it and put it in the refrigerator while you're doing things or you can just store whatever you're making in the refrigerator but this is the classic batter bowl and use it just about for everything now this recipe calls for just any uh, fudge brownie all you have to do and you're gonna pretty much follow the directions of it I'm gonna use my kitchen shears here to cut open the bag put it in there and uh, it says combine the brownie mix and the vegetable this is the mini um, measure all cup and this one is one cup it is a great you, you've seen it probably in the online in the catalog so I'm gonna put the oil in and then next I have just it said two tablespoons of water so two tablespoons of water there we go and then it called for two eggs. So I'm going to put in my two eggs, all right? And then I'm just gonna use my skinny scraper and just mix it up. Probably gonna make a mess here, try to be a little quick, but I'm gonna get this stirred up. All right, so I've got it all mixed up using the skinny scraper. And just so you know, this recipe only calls for half of the for the naughty brownies half of the brownie mix because we're going to use some cookie dough in just a moment so but you're not going to throw that away i'm going to tell you what you're going to do with the other the leftover brownie mix in just a little bit all right so we've made the brownie batter i'm just going to set that aside put the lid on it so nothing gets in the way i'm just going to set that to the side and now i want to show you one of the new items. This is the brownie pan. The brownie pan, you can get the regular size brownie pan, or you can get the mini brownie pan, or you can do like I did and get the set of brownie pans. So I'll be showing you that mini brownie pan in just a little bit. But I love the brownie pans because they, you get a crust around every brownie. So you get all the edges, and if that's something you like about brownies, this is the perfect pan for you. Also, it doesn't stick, so it's great. So I'm gonna use one of my new items that I had. I used to have the old uh, kitchen spritzer, but this time I've got a new one. And uh, as you can see, it shows you where to put your vegetable or canola oil or olive oil, whatever kind of oil you would like in there. This just takes the place of the cooking spray so you can get rid of spending your all the three dollars on the cooking sprays and just use this so you'll put your oil in there and it's got a pump you just pump it a couple of times mine's already built up the pressure and you're just going to spray it in there so this is called the kitchen spritzer and if you wanted to see you could just pump it a little more and it would keep on going. So love the kitchen spritzer. All right. So this naughty brownie called for using just already prepackaged uh, cookie dough. You can do the round or the log kind or this. I'm just going to take some of this. And these are cut into uh, 24 and it calls for two of them. So I'm just going to push them into the brownie kind of push them down into the bottom of the brownie pan. So two of these for each square. So I'm just gonna, as you can see, see how I'm doing that? Just pushing them down in there. Okay, so I've got all of the cookie dough kind of pressed into the brownie pan. 
And now I'm going to get my batter, my uh, brownie batter, and I'm going to use my medium scoop, and I'm going to put one scoop of brown. Oh, actually, oh, nope. I'm going to put an added bonus. That's the reason they're called naughty. I'm going to put a Reese cup kind of the, in the middle. So kind of put a Reese cup. Press it, kind of press it down in there. So I'm gonna put a Reese cup in each one of them. So you got chocolate chip, cookie dough, you're gonna have a Reese cup, and then you're going to have a brownie on top of that. So one scoop just on top. I'm going to set that aside and it says to bake for 19 to 21 minutes um, on 350 degrees. I've already preheated the oven so I'm going to go ahead and put these naughty brownies in the oven. As I said you're going to have some brownie mix left over that's the reason you need the mini brownie pan. So I'm going to use the kitchen spritzer again. I'm not going to have enough for all of those so I'm going to do just about half of these. All right, there we go. And this time I am going to use, because it's a mini, I'm gonna use my small scoop. So I'm just going to put one little scoop in each one, there we go. All right, so I've got about half of them, like I said, in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these to the oven with the other ones, and it should come out about the same. Okay, now for my favorite part the frozen custard. So I splurged this past time when I hosted a party, when I got to get some of my 50% off items, one of the items was the ice cream maker. So if you like, that's a little too expensive, then you could host a show and get a half off items, several of them, and this could be one of the ones that you choose. So I chose the ice cream maker and I love this. It's one quart, it makes one quart of ice cream, it's easy, it's small, you can put it away. If you have one of those big churns, they take up a lot of space. Plus you have to use ice and salt and it gets really messy. This is not messy at all. It is very, very easy. So you've got the tub. This stays in your freezer. So you need to put this in your freezer for at least 24 hours if you wanna keep it uh, stored somewhere else and you're wanting to uh, use it. You need to make sure that you have it in the freezer for 24 hours. So this has been in the freezer for a couple of days now, so it's good and frozen, all right? I've already pre-made my uh, custard so that it would be, because it needs to sit in the refrigerator for about two hours and get cold. So I've already done that. So I'm just, as you can see, there's my custard and there is a recipe that I'll have for that as well. I'm just gonna pour the custard in there. Get all the goodies out of there, all the goodness, all that custard in there. And this is gonna go on top of that naughty brownie. It's gonna be so good. So there it is, very easy. And it only takes, most recipes that I've seen for the ice cream call for about 20 minutes. So you put your ingredients in, that's easy. Then you, here's the lid, there's the blades. They come right off, you can put them in like that. You put them on. It has a little place, you see where it, you attach it. My cord is kind of in the way here. And lock it into place. Now, this one, I didn't show you, but I could have put the ingredients down through the hole. It has the uh, hole there that you can just put them in. So that's all you have to do. Pour in your ingredients, hit power, hit the timer for whatever time it's called for. And at the end, it's probably gonna be a soft serve consistency. If you want it a little uh, more firm, you can hit it for a, another time for about five minutes. But if you really like the hard dip style, they do give you a silicone lid. Once you take this off, you put the silicone lid right onto the bowl here and put it back in the freezer and it'll get nice and hard so that you can put it on ice cream cones. So the naughty brownies are done. Look at there. I'm using my mini oven mitts to take them out of the oven. I love these, uh, very easy to use. Take them off real quick. 
And I want to show you just how easy the brownie pan is. I'm going to use the mini nylon serving spatula, and I want you to see how easy these come out. Look at, look, I mean, I'm just going to look at how I just pop it out. Look, there it is. Oh, and look at how clean that is. Every one of them, oh, every one of them will do that. Very easy to come out. Now, I'm going to transfer them to my stackable cooling racks. So this is a, uh, you can use it for all kinds of things, cookies, but it's a cooling rack and it comes as a set of two. So look at that, you get one and then you get another one. They have legs on them that fold so that you can fold them back up, makes it for easy storage. So they just stack right on top of one another like that. And then you can have a double layer without taking up all the space. Guys, so I've got like 25 seconds on the countdown before uh, my ice cream, or actually in this case, uh, frozen custard, is finished. And uh, it's looking uh, pretty good. It's not, of course, hard, hard, but uh, it's, it's looking really good. I've got my brownie in here, my naughty brownie, and it's got five seconds, and I'm going to show you this delicious frozen custard. All right, so it stopped. So I'm just going to twist the lid off, and you can kind of oh, see it. So look at that! Oh, look at that custard. Who wants to lick that? All right, so I'm just going to set that to the side for a second. I'm going to take a scoop of that custard right there, put it on top of my brownie, and now you know why it's called the naughty brownie. And I've shown you a lot of different uh, Pampered Chef items that I hope that you uh, can use and see and want to have in your collection at home.